Romulus held the best chariot races. Romulus, the first king of Rome, is said to have held the Circus Maximus race. The chariot races were very popular throughout the Roman Empire. They were so popular that at one point, the circus could hold over 250,000 people. Some of those people were wealthy and some poor. Anyone could attend and admission was free. When people arrived, a procession was made before the race. It consisted of priests, musicians, and dancers. Then the charioteers took to their places. It was considered an honor to race in the arena, since only the best charioteers were accepted. The races took place between the Abitine and Palatine Hills. Tarquinius Pisces chose this area for the circus. The first strong starting gates being built in the year 329 BC were later redone. At this time, seven wooden eggs were placed on top of the spina, the main wall of the arena. The eggs counted the number of laps the charioteer completed. One egg was taken away after the lap was completed. In 33 BC, seven bronze dolphins were placed on the spina. This also counted the number of laps. Chariot races were more common than gladiator combats. Chariot races were greater than gladiator fights. The Circus Maximus reflects the Great Roman Empire. The Circus Maximus was the greatest arena in Rome. The Roman leader had better vision than the public. The last race was held in AD 549. This was close to a millennium after the first race was held. Today, a grassland takes the place of the circus, but the layout can still be seen. The gladiator was originally most greatly called the Favian Amphitheater. Gladiators fought in the Colosseum more fiercely than the lions. The gladiator was about to be sentenced to death by the emperor. The emperor said the Colosseum is beautiful.